Amokala Moro Daily Teta. It's a brand new week, so it's a brand new week of conversation yep. where Baswa are taking charge. Melody, this past week, yep. Rivoni politicians settling scores in yep. parliament with gender-based violence. Yep. It's just not on for me. Suffering at the hands of gender-based violence. This shows you what you politically sinking in. We are in real trouble, but we're also in real trouble with some of our pharmaceutical companies. Mm. Rivoni, one of them, putting African beauty mm. and painting a black face on a mannequin. You know what? If it is not true, who then holds them very highly and accountable to what they're actually reporting? Now we know what the journalists and the media houses have to at some point comply with Section 16 of the Bill of Rights in our constitution but also to the prim, uh, to the press ombudsman and sanef question mm. when they do make a mistake by yesa yona push up or ba reporta story sa ga sinete ke mang a ba butisang gore ba gone go ngwala yona apology on yo ba itshelago ka page 10 nge ka ma ke o meletwa ka mia o qone le sube uzizi lo kota wena ke ha ngwe ngwezo sheriff makaya u khumbule ukuthi ke ukuthi ophike sa mhlawumbe sikhuluma ukuthembe ko msebenzi wendatele ya South Africa sikhuluma ukuthi kahle kahle bebenza lo msebenzi bebathatha indaba ukuthi uita by Zenza, my article, in this is my temple, because it's cutting some manger about the running Sabakala, who tweet about the Facebook before, by a booga, a pepper, before by a boogie in Dava, who goes to Tindavang and Pele, Tennis or Manga, got a pin the footage toilet in Kabang, where I want to have a fun and hour, but he lekaya, about the corner on our social media, which is Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, utilizing a hashtag which is daily theta. Ukumbo Lugut, Labavan, eight times in Tanda, I began in nine. About the page number zero one one three three nine one three one five, including this phone. Yes, and right now, let's welcome our studio audience. I think Melody Reed, Tommy Morasesi, Mandisa, Rukorna, Mandisa, did Tabatse Udi Balang, Linda, we are the September now. Ka, I need Tempi. Zonke Kel. Okay, I Zonke. But like, majority of them, I need Tempi because. Um, with the with the things that are happening nowadays, mm. right? Yeah. And yep. the social media, right? They they tell things that they believe is true. So personally, yeah. I really don't believe. So 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 you don't think journalists um, in this day and age actually do the due process? You go about the story, find out the facts, and actually report the story as accurately as possible? No, they don't actually. At all, Mandisa? No. Because a long time ago, they used to actually go to the person or yeah. go to a certain company if ever there's news that are like, uh, being produced out there, right? And they would ask questions and mm. get the uh, proper information. Mm. But nowadays, it's like, okay, by post like, song is a talent, and then meaning just forget I mean, just yeah. to bring the people's attention. Because when you look at it, it's also to bring people's attention for people to look at that certain person or the certain company in a different way. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I want the melody to recover Razama, more a president, a co host, a cafe, a trip, a cow, a more. Will the journalists actually come to daily to talk about now? When you call it Uwe Sia King, was it a trip? Mm. Was it because she fainted? What actually really happened? by profession. I guess I are journalists lazy now where they don't go and do research as they previously did. Um yeah, I can actually agree. Um it's it's not always that you get the reporter on the floor, on mm, the ground, mm. are trying to get stories on all of that. Because we're starting to get very dependent on citizen journalism. Mm. Citizen journalism where I can easily post as a person on the ground mm. and just post it on Twitter. And mm. then I take it, I'm like, oh, so this is happening. And mm. then I probably DM you and then I'll ask for the full story and then I'm running with it, right? And then I use uh, probably alleged and all of that to make sure that I'm also protected in the in this space. Sure. Mm. Is it because something about is it because Sinale pressure I want to be the first to break a story. Mm. I want to be breaking news about mm. the Twitter mm. stories mm. about Bakunme Wutu when Ote. Is that the pressure for people to now have a lack of you know compassion? 
yeah that uh, in tow it a very big role mm -hmm. and it's a, it's actually a very big factor because you find yourself wanting to make sure that everybody else that comes after you to report the story mm. or yeah bits and pieces from your story mm. so mm. you're a point of reference mm. for that particular story and then sure. that gives you a bit of a name in the industry and mm. in tow it's actually yeah yeah hey eh? <laughs> okay yeah was a swam but i'm quick one so what's the simple program we are at, we are ten by nine in that tail one and it's ten but one it comes she come out to one pro it come along to me selling it so so why don't why don't our team be a match in the list uh kuba zinzi story or two zivers in union mm. mm. now in, in the lens and i want the phone is also says needs to go in the zoo was on one for money spa okay hey pay in do a man yeah oh, okay so I think we can straight tabbing. Rikwagasesi and Namsagorna. What makes fake news and real news? How do you differentiate between the two, sis? Kamala uh, Munomsa. So you can differentiate between fake news and real news by like ama sources. Okay. Fake news, bazo tando guti allegedly, oh. but real news, bazo kuchelu guti. We went there. Sakulma no ban no bani. Simpete ku record ku nzigega soga soga so. So that's how you can differentiate. Can't you translate it allegedly in Sizulu because sometimes allegedly it means that it has not really been confirmed. Agar. Is that is that what so so real sources real news those don't use allegedly? Can no. I let's say u, u, you are suspected of we are so or two, you know? We are yeah. So later, yeah, would they not write allegedly murdered? No, we'd mm. have to speak to the police, yeah, that the police says that, yeah, and the person they the police say that's the suspect. Yeah. We can't say, I'm a him, him, Nazat, Elizabeth Shaw, why? So, Patrick. Would you be able to spot the difference between fake news and real news? Patrick mm. It's not easy for us to identify it's a fake news or it's yeah. a real news because those people, I, I can say, by authority, but expose a celebrity is wrong yeah. on the other side. Mm. Then. Okay. But I was to expose wrong, but I was going to expose wrong because of bona bane authority because baba zibiza ngoba banga ma journalist so it's it's not easy for us to identify go to lay right lay like right and mm. what does it do for your favorite celebrity when uboni ndaba but you know you find out later on go it was actually fake news for mm. the way as a person how do you start seeing that celebrity yo sis mam ya bona go go am di kandi di kandi bane mi buzo ndi zibuza yona ukuthi Okay, Ubana and Ians are the for real. Mm -hmm. Then, after I realized, got to know, Ians are this is a fake news. This way, Pine Calbona Conma, this thing of journalist, it doesn't work. Okay. Well, 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 look, in a democratic country, we definitely need journalists and we need people to be able to report the news. But when you're with so you're not going to be able to do it. You're not going to be able Because yeah. really, a story can make or break you, Melody. And also, a story can. can Literally distract your career. I never never pay them seven things in the way up home and I So, go to a guy, I've seen the way to go see Kurmil. I'm changing to go see charity. So, we're going to be the best way to go to the other way. Salam gala back right here. Good day. This is SAPC. One of the cool men in cool men. Cool men in good pain. Yeah, good. We serve as an entertainer. And of course, we are managing. I sit in the cool and I'm supporting that the hope of the team. Our team. I'm the topic here. Salam change. from the South African National Editors Forum. Enabantu Abayazio journalism, senior journalists and editors who are really going to give us insights on how we can start choosing in Daba and how the profession in its entirety is actually supposed to work. Masia Mbauti. In a clinic celebrity, is in Daba is Ningzim Africa says a trustworthy. Zenziwa uh, in Tateli as a trainee from academic institutions and tertiary. Onka ma journalist and a news editor as of a culture. You know, basically, historians are connoisseurs to a number of people. Sometimes we have a quality control and Zwa ma news, whether it's on radio, online, you know, we be broadcasting. I guess that a journalist, a reporter, a court. We need to have a court. We have to have anything. We have to have a court. We have to have a court. We have to have a court. We have to So you cannot doubt that information. We have to have a record. We have to have a court. We have to have a system. And then we have to have political stories. That's where you start working on the land 
minefield. Um, go back to the sites. Um, now I report that the ANC depend on the human faction. Uh, is it the pro, the president, or anti-president on Janinja? So the journalist there has to always try as hard as possible to explain to the reader or listener that we are broadcasting. Just to let the, the listener be the judge. I, mean, I, I always take in, in, in the social media with a pinch of salt. I mean, it's just something to find a span, and then we just have to follow up and see what, what's going on. It will be wrong of any journalist with Nagabona information. I want to say that Puma we tweet ya Malema Besa Funugui forward. Anga Zanga double check with Gempela and Gempela, the true account ya Julius Malema. Now, you do know there are a lot of fake accounts. And that's why I go by my courses, not just and most news uh, newsrooms are doing it now, where we talk to people like uh, Google um, and, and to try and, and teach us to understand the technology of how to verify um, a false tweet of or Facebook or Instagram and so on. In my very early years of journalism, um, I was a court reporter. Such a story is so a person was going to appear in court. And the family of that person, but please, Nina um, report uh, the story. Uh, we will give you a hundred thousand rand each. Every journalist in a lifetime will find such a bribe. So we are going to umuntu ne integrity nga ganani, uzi mesele ganani no ugu safeguard um seven zwako. Because think about it, if God has given you life to live until you are eight, and you get bribe at twenty-eight, you still have on fifty years, fifty-two years to live and you've thrown away your career at an early age of your life. You know, for what? For 50,000 rands maybe? For 30,000 rands? For 2,000 rands? So how cheap are you, you know, in, in a real sense? We already have credible bodies and they've ruled and punished those journalists many a times. Take Ilona, we print side, she's in a ombuds, she's in a press council, um, and it's not even a public advocate to, to, to protect the public if they feel they've been unfairly treated by a reporter. Sine BCCSA, um, complaints uh, division in LNA Broadcasting, which look at unfair broadcasting where a person has not been given a fair uh, a moment to reply and to justify um, uh, whatever its story is coming out. So, and there's been rulings. There are people who have lost their jobs who are journalists. Um, who've been shamed for, for having done that. There is a tendency as journalists, when there's a ruling up, um, against our peer, uh, we, we don't take that as a story. You know, we focus on the story in courts, but where a journalist has been found wanting, um, we don't want to publish that. So we should also publish um, the things that happen that are done by our peers. The more as peers we take care of the profession, the better it will be, and then the public will have trust in us. As well again, now in Bugeli, a kind of with Lady Witty Untate Hopel Hatabina, we bear a nanny as a representative who is a project manager from Senef, who is also here on our couch, Sagam Gale Baba on the show, but alongside someone who has had a very vocal voice as a broadcaster on radio and television, talking about his views and also an entrepreneur in all sorts of walk of life. And that day, JJ Tabani, we are welcome you onto the show. Thank you. Uh, it's such a big and uh, important conversation that we need to have. But before CNZ even Zima Lunkulum, no Mutu Hilekaya, who's just trying to figure out why are we having this conversation. I guess Kulumen Muktembe Gagwama went at tail from radio, from TV, from media as a whole. How important is it in society? Look, it's, it's, it's crucial for journalists to be, to be trusted. But let me assure you that, um, you know, the, 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 those who are untrustworthy in the journalistic profession are mm. actually exceptions, not their rule. Okay. I, can, I can tell you that uh, for free mm. because I'm not a journalist. I mm. just happen to have a platform yeah. in, in a media so yeah. I can talk freely about this journalist. <laughs> and I also, as I'm a scholar of media. Yes. Uh, in my studies, because I, 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 I was really concerned about this thing of integrity and so on. And so I went to study what, what, what cases the ombudsman has received over yes. the last sort of, let's say, 10 to 10 15 years. years. Mm. Mm. And between 65 and 70 percent of the times that people go and complain about what media has written, uh, the, the ombudsman found for the media. Mm. 
Mm. Okay. So there are only a minority of cases, in this case, say between 25 and 30 yeah. percent, mm. where in fact journalists have to apologize. Yeah. Because think about it, we've got over 30, and I've, it is a conservative estimation, over 30 daily newspapers, mm. over 10 weekend newspapers, mm. countless online papers. Mm. So every day there are billions of words that are printed. Mm. So mm. surely there will be mistakes. Yes, mm. of right? course, human error. There will be human error. Mm. So, so that, that's why they have to look at the situation where people can go and complain somewhere if they have been found to you know they, they, they have been offended mm -hmm. or they have been lied to etc yeah. etc yeah. so i'm saying to you i can assure you that only a minority of cases where journalists were found to have been wanting mm -hmm. and where they were found one thing they had to apologize yeah. they had to uh, you know uh, make good of that story yeah of course they're not perfect i mean yeah. uh, it has always this thing that you know they will have a front page you yes. know, <laughs> saying Zondo did this and so on going to this, yeah. like yeah. last week, yeah. right? Yeah. Yes. But when they find that it's not true, yeah. it, it, it's on page 13 <laughs> saying, well, we're well, sorry to Zondo. Zondo yes. I think that can improve, that yeah. if you have been uh, publicly shamed, must the apology public must apology. be equally public, must yeah. be equally prominent, yeah. Yeah. so that you don't have a situation yeah. where uh, you know, somebody's uh, image is being dented and yeah. so tainted. Mm. 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 Well, you've said quite a lot, Moga, inside there. You know, where people can account. Mm. I just want to quickly come back to because I think Basarune in the room yeah. have, have expressed this a lot. Some of them feel uneasy. Mm. Some of them feel uneasy. Yeah. Some of them feel uneasy. Yeah. Some of them feel uneasy. Some of them feel uneasy. Some of them feel uneasy. In a democratic society, mm. what is the role of the media? Mm. What are they supposed to actually do? Okay. Media, it's one thing it will need. Yeah. Mm. Full stop. Mm. So it's one thing 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 so it's a very privileged position. Yeah. Uh, uh, how and how I this politician has done this. First of all, it's a short game need. Mm. Yeah. 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 And then and then the role of the like, press ombudsman, press council, mm. BCCSA, king, yeah. and, and what as a, a normal person can do How do I hold them accountable to assist me? Okay. The, those bodies get on as a hold down the media accountable. Okay. So, yeah, man. Yes. The same way the judges will make sure, or the same way Parliament should make sure uh, the president's office and ministers are doing their job. Yes. Yeah. Right. The the press council, the PCCSA, get on as a sure run the journalists resume so it's our run. Okay. So what they do then, they will make sure that, um, and, and JJ just gave a nice example of how many percentage. Yes, yes, yes. By the way, JJ, what we now have, mm. even in the ombuds, mm. how are the story front page? Mm. You now apologize on the front page. page. The oh, that's lovely. Mm. Now they make sure yeah, we, we apologize on the front page. Yeah. So the, the apology will get a prominent space on the page on which it was published. Mm. Okay. So how can we Kabo Nanka, who page three, mm. uh, Karu Zhuang Zhuang Hanti, as in it, trying to apologize on page, page three. three. Mm. That's where the story was. With the same size article. No, it won't be the same size. But that article is prominent. Yeah, you know, it's trying to be prominent. Come on, come on, I read the Melo Week and you can call me. Yeah, I'm feeling yeah. I think around in that space, around that space, more nearly things trying to show on this page. Yeah. Ring Wadili last week or Mang Mang went to the so. Yeah. Nice and neat in the Ruku Patware. Yeah. Yeah, but okay. So, so, so we we see that when and especially with broadcasting, we've yeah. we've seen so many times. Guti radio radio people understand. Guti. Yeah. In a graphic you piece, they say but. Your complaints, I was out cool yes. next because yeah. it, it's always about a, there's a response that means the right people were looking for have heard it, yeah. yeah. But yeah. How, how how effective is the BCCSA with school manager in terms mm. of accountability? No, it's quite effective, you'll be fined very badly. I mean, uh, some of us, you know, we're happy. <laughs> you, can you find any day, you know, <laughs> on every day, can you find? yeah, so it's always a, a touch and go, yeah. but yeah. we know that if we say something that's not factual, mm. yeah. we can be fined up to 80,000 rands, mm. yes. Mm for just uh, saying something that is not factual about, about someone. So mm. in a sense, there is a big, uh, you know, sort of X hanging over our heads mm. and if, if we say it? something wrong, mm. right? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I think that's, that's quite effective. Mm. They're not going to joke with you and just say, or just go on radio and say sorry. Yeah. You could actually be fine. So I think that the public sometimes doesn't know that you can actually go and complain. Mm. Yeah. But half of the time, with these politicians and so on, they know they can't complain because they know some of the things we are saying about them being crooks are yeah, true. Are true. Yeah. Yeah. So they will not be afraid to go there because you could go there and tell the, 
even more yeah. to say they know they only they only touch the surface when you call them crooks. But yeah. actually, they are so crooked yeah. that they don't go there. So the, uh, half the cases, uh, you know, of the SDM fall flat because these guys know it's true yeah. and they try to use it as intimidation to journalists. To back. You All right. Let's quickly read yeah. some social media. We've okay. got Lucius Manipulator Lion saying some of the journalists are somehow propaganda agents. <laughs> <laughs> they hide behind their profession while they know deep down they are double agents. Mm. Look what happens to journalists when they took some bribes from politicians to report things in their favor. Mm, Credibility no. of journalists is tinted by some. Yeah. Yeah. Personally, I don't like journalists from big corporations. They are not fair at all. All and when we come back, because it's yeah. important. Gore, at the end of the day, more because we've already understood gore, what is the role yeah. that journalists play in a democratic society, yeah. it's important gore, but we be comfortable with what journalism, journalism does mm -hmm. in our country. But please stay with us after the break. So we're talking about the credibility of journalism and we want to find out from you, do you have faith and trust the news that you're receiving in South Africa every day today? I just feel like the news in South Africa today, it's mostly bad news. I feel like there is sometimes good news, but like the news that I personally watch and the news that I hear on radio, it's always just so negative. So sometimes I question, is it is it real? You know, so like, yeah, I do question sometimes, is it real? I mean, there has to be good news sometimes. You never know if it's bad or if it's good, so we just believe what we see. If it's certain newspapers, I know that this is credible, but some I just don't believe it. Sometimes you get people who just want to tell a story because it's exciting or, you know, whatever just entertains or brings in viewers. So I don't know how to feel sometimes, but I do think most of the time they bring in the truth. I don't believe anything that I read, especially from the social media. Do you remember a time where you read a story that was said to be true only to find that later it's actually a lie? I was told that Drake was coming to SA. I don't know if you're familiar with the person Drake is coming to SA, these people are coming to SA, her is coming to SA, but it was fake. It was about when people wrote about, who's this? Sophie Ndaba that she was dead due to the, which was not true, so yeah. Do you trust the news that you're getting from social media? Um, depending on what it's about, not necessarily. Like it depends on the topic and who's involved. But in most cases doing research and finding out whether the information is correct or not helps to know. Twitter and Instagram and Facebook are just total lies, so yeah. If it's um, being spoken about a lot, like if it's on more than one platform, then it can be credible, but then it also needs like confirmation, I guess, from like I don't know, someone trustworthy. How do you check Uba Inyani Oganya? It's fake news. I really don't know what to believe nowadays, eh? Radio is the most reliable. The only thing I use here is News24 to get info on South Africa, yeah. We hear rumors about journalists being bribed by individuals, government officials, sometimes even private companies, but they must squash a story. Do you think that's true? Yeah, I believe in that. That's true. This is South Africa. I do think if uh, if the right amount would come out, I think any person would do what is told. I do believe things like that happen, but there's no proof, so I don't want to say too much. I don't think so, because like a lot of journalists these days are young, and they're not focused on money that much, but focused on like getting people true information that's happening around the world. What do you think should be done to people who report fake news? Um, I feel like people who report fake news should be should get in trouble because it's not okay to like give out information that's not true. It can get people in trouble, like it can give people false impressions of stuff. So something needs to be done. Honestly, it's like why are you doing the job? You know, I think you should just be fired or I don't know banned. I think banned's a bit too extreme, but fired. They should go to jail. They should be jailed. <laughs> like this, what they do is not right. <laughs> How do they actually verify or something is fake news or something is real news, right? Now, on the 14th of February in 2013, and in most of the major stories or the reporting, you saw developing story. So, so we've got our guests on the couch. Story is a process at the end of the day, publicly so that we can 
can consume it mm. as the readers or the audience. Mm. We are joined on the couch by Phil Mpella, who is an entertainment uh, uh, com commentator and also a television host. Welcome to our show. Thank you for having me. Lovely. And we also have Zingi Sambubu, who's a political reporter. Papa, welcome to our show. I think we'll start with you, Zingi, sir, and just get an understanding, Horna. What is the process? What is the process that you have to follow as a reporter so that that story can end up on a credible publication? Okay. No, so first of all, uh, you always have to uh, get both or more sides to the story because I always hear people saying there are two sides to the story. Sometimes three. it could be ten. Phil said there's three. I saw his tweet last uh, yeah. yesterday. So, so that, that's the basis. If, yeah. for instance, there's an allegation against Phil yeah. uh, that Umfue uh, Tula, Uchoncha something. Yeah. Okay, Ngiamuzu Phil, Umfue Tienutin. And then, of course, there are internal uh, you know quality control systems mm. whereby man to go by the story it will go to the sub it will go to another sub revise it will go to another sub uh, ready and then it will go to the publishing whereby mm. the editor manager is a signer of what it can be published so there are those qu quality control systems and someone yeah. will surely pick it up i mean there's five to six people who pick, who work on on, on that story. particular yeah. story so I think uh, it's unfair to say that to see Kuruma among. You know, okay, okay, just, what, what if your, your editor is captured yeah. by a certain uh, uh, funder, me, uh, you know, what if when a story was a tapa, you know it's a truth, Kinto, we, 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 we let the Lenko you've yep. done an investigation, and your editor says scrap the story? Well, there, there are very rare chances like those. Well, at least let me speak for myself. There's never yeah. been a, a situation like that. Mm. And how, how possible is it that one can squash a story in yeah. Jungle work on a story? I want to learn. So on, on the issue of lack of trust in Bazuda Bandavan and Abatia, as his I think uh, there's a general you know, uh, legitimate crisis across society in all sectors. It's not only a journalism thing. Mm, yeah. so as Zugu, there are questions over the church, there are questions yeah. over yeah. the judiciary, there are questions almost of, over everything. And this is, according to me, due to the changing times. Okay. Sometimes okay. we really have to adopt, I mean, Owamanje, the digital, uh, you know, space, yeah. space has really influenced the media. So, I don't know. I don't know. I I don't know. I don't know. I don't I don't know. 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 I don't I and you know politically, you do something in your, in, your, in your space politically, you make a mistake, you say something, you come back and you apologize, you move on. Which has always been used as some sort of threat in the system. But, here's the thing. Tina, we in entertainment, we don't have such strict uh, yeah. processes. You know, sometimes you can be able to call, okay, is it true, he's left this particular broadcasting house, mm -hmm. and you can't get through to him. But you know what, you have a lead on it. Yeah. At what point does your ethical uh, element come in? Look, I think the conversation is a little one-sided on, on the blame side, right? Mm -hmm. Because... Uh, in in Tamil, for instance, yeah. a lot of these stories come from the very same people that will be coming uh, out on this space and complaining. Like the very same celebrities are the ones that are giving journalists this information. Mm. The people around these celebrities are the ones that are giving uh, journalists this information. Mm. So sometimes when you see a story on a paper that is not flattering to, to, to a celebrity, you need to also understand, Jorge, um, you give me a story, right? Uh -huh. You're expecting me to write it the way that you want, want because you is. want to control it. But I'm yeah. sitting, I'm thinking, no, man, she said that she's broke. But me writing about the fact that she owned a Lamborghini, that's, that's not there anymore. <laughs> it's much more interesting. So it's not a lie. Yeah. It's just, it's the same story that we talked it's about. But, yeah, but it's an angle that you might not like. So I think we also need to eliminate that. Now, in terms of our credibility, I think we sit, especially myself as a commentator, I yes. sit in a space where I am privileged that I don't have to deal with a lot of red tape and, yes. you know, yes. um, so I think the journalists get it very, very, very hard because a lot of them have to answer to editors as well. Mm. Uh, but when the backlash comes, it comes to the journalists, especially mm. with entertainment. Yeah. The people don't realize, Jorge, the person who wrote that story had to clear it with an editor, an editor might have said, Jorge, wait, I don't want to write about Nicolette's success. Eh, I want eh, Nicolette's drama. Eh, what are eh, you doing as a eh, journalist? You need eh, a paycheck. Eh. <laughs> and that's, that, that's what I want to bring mm. it back to, Gorna. At what point do, 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 do 
prominent people, Baba Regisa, you guys, mm. to be social climbers or to sway a certain story. Yeah. How then do you deal with that process? How yeah. do you make a decision to say, I'm not going to do that, I'm going to write the story as is? I think in Daba, Igumuntu, Ngamunye, among us, Uguti, when as a professional, you do what ought to be done. Okay. Because, of course, I mean, for instance, as Kurum Endaba, objectivity. Yes. I do believe that there is no such thing as objectivity, but there is fairness. You can be fair. When you are fair, it is in a case whereby even if you feel the out here, but Moguti went wrong. I can't be able to report to, to it. And the issue again, feel good to feel funny. La, when they put, I'm sorry, get some sevens of army, who made a report the way in a corner. So mm -hmm. that is being professional and fair. And I think most of us like, understand the law. Mm. Of course, there are a few bad apples, abang awazi, to suppress their allegiance to those particular subjects, to stories whereby they they suppress the truth and elevate mm. the truth as mm. it, it doesn't favor the enemy. Can I also say this? I think the audience and the readers and whatever you also need to understand, Jorge, just because people are celebrities, they're not gods, they're not demigods. Yes. Celebrities lie too. Like, mm. uh, you'll have a story that is a legitimate story mm. that's sitting there and a celebrity will go on Twitter and say, this is a lie, when it's true. Mm. But yeah. now, because they are a celebrity, the public would more likely believe them because than they would celebrity. the, the the story. Mm. So I think that in itself needs to be uh, uh, looked at because yeah. if you're going to say that um, the credibility of journalism in, in, in South Africa, in the world, yeah. it's gone. Dictatorships rise on that. Let's talk about that, Phil. You broke the story yeah. about Pelma Diadie, yes. right? Mm. Now, as somebody in a relationship, Leanne, yeah. do you first go to her and say, this is what I'm going to be putting out? Yeah. Sure. Or do you put it out and deal with whatever It depends comes? on what the story is. Okay. If, 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 it's, if it's personal in a way that will affect their, their, their job or whatever, mm. then I'll call and say, hey, I've got this information, yeah. is it true or not? You yes. know what I mean? But if it's a general story about maybe just a show or just a, a brand that they're working for, mm. yes. that, that has nothing to do with them personally. So yes. I, would, I would not do that because what happens a lot of time also is that when you sit in a space that I sit in where I'm friendly with a lot of these people because mm. we work in the same space, yes. um, the lines get blurred. That's, That's why a, a, a friendship that I had with somebody who's very famous ended up, you know. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> because, because we were friends first, she somehow at some point expected me to be like running my career through her. Ah, mm. so there's you know an what expectation I mean? because of exactly. the Exactly. You're my friend. How can you run? But if we are true friends, you need yes. to respect her. I have to work. Yes. I don't exist to serve you and your career. Sure. sure. In terms of Intertilis as a South Africa, but for now, let's quickly go for an ad break. So I'm going to get back to Daily Tessa like with SAPC One. If Kondo can book one as it puts you one hour, you can go on to Facebook, Google as well as Facebook Live here too. We should be able to show the whole show is a sale up, which one was we will get a pin of foot in at his waist one with one about 10. Got a woman just to cool him and the way to entertain you, so cool with him seven as a band to as people who are in the influential position of deciding what is the story going left or right. In the cool and full cool man, I would is there's the money element that is involved in the industry and I want to be in Bashu with for example, a uh, story is written to to Kumagabi by our, our former president, Bob Jacob Zuma, and how people have written those stories are influenced by what's in the bag. I guess Kumagabi, going back to your point, mm. Uti, the friendships that are created. I mean, I always write about you when you do good. Yeah. And also, when I have to now write about you bad, do I job you in a letter she looks at me like for an electorate ever for exoccupation side of a book at the And my question becomes, yeah. Uti, at what point do we draw the line on friendship? You mentioned with the affections that are blurred, but at what point do we draw the line? So, because I mean, you politically have been always caught in these uh, headlines, <laughs> day, left, right. But how do we draw the line? Look, I think it's, it's, it's just been professional. You know, earlier on, mm. uh, the colleagues were asking, uh, you know, if you, if you become prominent, you could get a sponsor, let's mm. say, you know, like now I've got people who are addressing me for my show. Yes. So if those people get involved in a scandal, do I now criticize, yeah, these people are scandalous. No, some, another journalist will pick that up. Uh, the reality is when you are conflicted, you need to be honest about yeah. it. You say, let's say, say I'm conflicted. I'm not going to say anything wrong about Coke. Yes. They're paying my bill, yes. right? Yes. But another journalist doesn't care. They must then pick that up. But what's, what's important is to be honest. 
you know, a conflict of interest is, is deeper when it's not declared. Yes. Yeah. Right? Yes. But every, everywhere you're always going to be conflicted. I mean, there are, there are friends of mine who are editors of newspapers. They didn't mean that, you know, when I was fired from my job, they were not going to write about it. It was yeah. a juicy story for them. This guy's been fired, you know. Uh, after three years of being here, mm. I'm mean, gonna say, oh, Chief, I thought you were my friend. Yeah. You say, no, sorry, but it's a big story, you yes. know. So it's, it's a question of no, no, now de declaring, right, where, where there is a conflict so that people can then trust you. People will always forgive you if you are honest. Yeah. But when you are dodgy yeah. and, you, and, and you, you go and pretend that you are not conflicted when in, in fact you are, mm. that's where the trouble begins. So remember, journalists are people, number one. Mm. They, they live amongst us, they're not yes. tears from Mars. So yes. they they will be conflicted from time to time. Secondly, guys, uh, the, the population of journalists is probably between something like 3,000 to 5,000 people. Yeah. Mm. The fact that we are talking about some who are doji, it means that you can see that they are the rotten apples. Mm -hmm. It's not all these 3,000 professionals who wake up to wanting to just do a decent job. Mm. Mm. We've, we've got a call coming through from Cape Town. Thomas, hello? <laughs> Hi. Hello, please. Thomas. Thomas, please switch off your TV. We'll come back to Thomas. We've also got a social media, H1 on Facebook from Lula Amataza Imenkanyi. Aremna. Personally, I feel like journalists nowadays are lazy. Mm. They do not do proper research for their stories and mm. news. These guys work with sources and witnesses like the police. But at the same time, we live in a world where money is power. Sure. For example, if a politician or someone with influence does something wrong, bribery talks. The story will be published, broadcasted, what? broadcasted of what happened. Now the nature of the story might be changed. Mm. That's what I believe shame. They no longer do their research properly. And Abuti Hopewell, when I look at a hundred thousand rand, you know, you, it might sway you here and there. Now, we've seen also some of the publications, they, they report on a certain personality to try and elevate that personality. Every week, how do we then make sure we don't have so, such things in the, in, in, in the journalistic fraternity? But journalists do different things. Like only yeah. entertainment journalists, mm. their mm. job is to only follow the celebrities. Yes. No matter what they do and no matter where they are, they yes. are supposed to be, they fly in the wall and see them in their bedrooms and yes. see them wherever they are. So that's their job. They, that, yeah. That's what they get paid to mm. do. But yes, they also mm. are likely about my name, this is a bad story, I'm going to look bad. Yes, so, let me give you something. Yes, yeah. 5,000 rands or something. Yeah. But that's when you as a journalist have to think about it. My boss will know about it. Mm. And then he was thinking, and that's how you have, you have thrown a career away for 5,000 rands. That's mm. how cheap you are. So yes, that's why everyone tweets it out. When people are doing training, even going to college and so on, that becomes part of the ethics that they have to learn. Yeah. yeah. But what happens if you're not necessarily changing a story, you're just yeah. swaying a direction of it? Do you, because I, I want to understand, what are you South Africa? No, but you need no, to also not understand that bad. Bribery is not only in, in money, in money terms. terms. Yeah. Because like in the entertainment space, for instance, access is currency. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Do you know what yes. I mean? So there are certain journalists or reporters who will be um, holding back on certain information, or only targeting certain people simply because with this other ones, if they talk about them in a bad way, mm. they're denied access, access to the most mm. glamorous events mm. and yes. whatever. So that in itself is a problem. And, yeah. and, and the only way to do that is to have um, editors who are aware of what's going on. Because especially in the entertainment space, I think the editors sometimes are detached from the content that has been put out. They're yeah. only looking at the numbers. They're only chasing the numbers. We only want hits. Yes. And what happens with that is that the biggest complaints that um, um, the public have with entertainment stories they say calling can the journalist sit and they just look at twitter and then say yeah. what about just tweet it's tweet true. at this and mm. then it becomes a story yeah. Yeah. so now you have to ask yourself what where is the editor in all of that where's yeah. the editor saying Hore? we understand this is fluff this is whatever but where is the the like, meat the meat yes. Hore, Hore, Hore. Yes. but then when you look at the business side of it yeah. it makes sense because they're chasing the number because if they're not getting the hits film pillars getting the hits on twitter yeah do you know yeah. what i mean so yes. they have to balance the two yeah so i think coming in because i mean I, I see we're ranging between uh, the, the the social element of it but yeah. there's dangers you yeah. know for investigative journalism yes yes ugutu and ulandinda but also you told i mean politically people i mean get arrested people die people get arrested mm. from back in the day even today is about to act like a circle or utu juliwe and for, is, is it truly worth it for the content that people are complaining about at this stage in south africa well, 
Job wish of way to there's there, there are risks yeah. attached to the job. You know, there are certain individuals that are just too dangerous where you have to think twice mm. about touching them. But of course, I mean when you <laughs> when you commit to this industry it means yeah. you are ready for anything that may, you know, yeah. sure. come for you. So really if, if you are a professional there shouldn't be untouchables. Everyone and anyone should be held to the same standard of accountability. Mm. And if it threatens your life, of course, I mean, you can, uh, your institution can intervene by, you know, but making sure But can they protect sure you? Like the institutions mm -hmm. like, do you feel, yeah. for example, Joe Munt, you're writing the hottest Sunday, do you feel like if it will come kind of push to shove, they will protect They'll you? They'll protect you. Of course, of course. I mean, not only your institution, in fact, you can go to the South African Police Services uh, to apply for security if you feel your life is at risk but of course there will be an assessment that will be done and if indeed that assessment reveals that your life is under threat you can be protected by the state because taxpayers but because in short though like like <laughs> 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 let's, let's maybe quickly ask because i'm quite interested in making the connection between the two if you're going to go to such lengths to try and get pictures I, 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 is the youth even interested in what you're writing? Maybe you can start there, my brother. Or what type of news are you consuming when? Obala, do you think Now, most illegal are entertainment. Okay. So, you don't feel And you feel like you're going to be fast. Yeah. And then, you can see the trailer by Talo Savannah. You can see the trailer by Eh, Len Nagi musician. Yeah. And a real Nari journalist, J. Loranga Prucha. Yeah. And never can go Prucha, Uncle, okay, Yakona, Gabelo, Wona, Mara, or Kang Wali, Yavagar, in case you will be my lorry, but ye never publish a lojaga because mm. yeah. came a door gave yeah. a yeah. album before. Yeah. And in trailer, oh no, you you are Rogan only six months, Gabilia, and young like three months, young like a few weeks ago. Mm -hmm. So about the publisher Lojella without my permission, era yeah. again. Just quickly, um, I think with me, Indo Leng, you are more exposed to. Okay. Uh, with Twitter, it's obviously going to be in the trend at that time. Okay. Yeah, but but Indo mean that I'll be more interested in. Uh, gender-based violence especially. Mm. Mm. I feel like it's in danger and leso the trend are only when there's a certain incident or section is one bad and then it trends and then it's like says quickly says kulumanga with DJ Zint and AKA and it's what I'm on I'm on it's what I'm on we're gonna come back after the break and delve a little bit deeper into understanding Khorna remove our young forward as a society even bar so I'm very interested in the stories that yeah. journalists are going to such great lengths to be able to report yeah please stay with us Welcome back to Daily Title like with SAPC One that crew are calling me here too. And of course, this Ukumbo took social media to clearly go to seven hashtag Daily Title. Job at Club Calendar by to entertain in Pilu Abo. And of course, how they see things is Job is Kasashin Chil. A lot of journalism has been seen now to be under Twitter. A lot of journalism is, has been, and I would say, with people who are not official journalists are now journalists. Yeah. They find themselves like myself, relevant. I'm a journalist. Yeah, yeah, understand. <laughs> and and Abanya Bandi don't know the difference between an actual real journalist and yes. someone who's a social media commentator or. Yeah. Entertainment commentator. My question then becomes, Wuti, because a lot of people who are influencers, mm. and influencers now, if I drop a story as someone who's active in social yeah. media, people will take it as a credible story. Yeah. But it also the conflict of ama brands, asebenza nahati, you know, yeah. outside. Yeah. How how do we then also still? I guess align these these people and also know when to pull them apart. Look, I think the main thing on that is credibility. Do you know what I mean? Like when you build an audience on social media and they know that they can trust the content that you're giving them. Sure. Like even when you are wrong. Like for instance, last year I tweeted for RGB is getting cancelled, right? Mm. The reason why I tweeted that is because I had spoken to the GE of SABC. Mm. I mean, she's the GE. There's mm. nobody higher than that. You understand? Mm. And instead of saying recommission, she, mm. she she sent me a message with decommissioned. Mm. And decommissioned means what? It's yeah, cancelled. Of course, it's so I put that out there. So there was no malicious intent behind the, 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 the information. Yeah. It was an error that anybody else can make. Mm. But now people who follow me and have built this relationship and know that I'm credible mm. could understand this. But somebody who doesn't know that would think, ah, this guy is always telling us mm. lies. Mm. So to the core of it, it's about credibility. So you know, even if SABC were to pay me to promote this show, mm. but because you've seen 
Phil has written about this production company before, mm. even in when this news is not good for them or whatever. Mm. Phil has written about the SABC mm. when they're not doing good um, and all of that. Yeah. So he has credibility. So even if this time around he's telling me mm. that I'm being paid to promote or this daily data is coming back, whatever, mm. you understand, or, okay, he's just doing this for now. Beyond that, I can mm. still trust whatever it is that mm. he's putting out. Okay. Mm. No, Nyaguzo put. Just I think let's maybe um, take it back or safeguarding how do we what mechanisms can we put in place? Okay. There are many things that are being proposed. We need commission right now, yeah, Judge Southwell, Nikiwe Piki, and Richard Kondo, where they are looking at the ethics and credibility of the media. Mm. And they'll be coming with proposals. Mm. And among these proposals, and remember, I don't sit in the commission. Yeah. Um, I read here and there with what's going on because it, the report will be coming up around end of May, June. Yeah. And it's going to be proposing serious stuff there. We are expecting that um, if we, we, we if, if you remember, there was a story about uh, one of the politicians have to pay from the pocket because yeah. they seem to be doing something wrong. Such things are being proposed by other people to the judge that can't you get journalists so that it doesn't just become the, their company that pays for their mistakes mm. but they too finally is just coming so there are serious things that might come mm. as though in the Tinama journalists we think twice before we we do certain stories as, yes. as soon as well, research you color, properly. color into your exactly. stories yeah so we'll have to end up really writing what you know if you know that this is what i know and i can vouch for this you're right but you doesn't that put <clears throat> a, a bit of danger also that you guys now will not be able to be fearless in no. terms of reporting. Actually, if you write a story yeah. at all times, whether or not you'll end up paying or not, if yeah. you truly believe in that story, yes. it should be. Yeah. Whether we are on radio, television, or follows the I want to lay information. Mm. I have vouching the source I write about this mm. and I've double checked it. I've done my homework mm. and my boss believes in it. That's mm. done. Let's quickly go to JJ. JJ, uh, Hopal mm. spoke about Malaga Insight Aruna Kore. Most of journalists, but are from credible academic institutions, they've yes. got the qualifications. Mm. Now, Claudia also mentioned something around the licensing, right? Getting journalists licenses to be able to, to operate in the country. Is that even a viable option? Yeah, I mean, in every country, I mean, yeah, mm. in, every, in every country, mm. right, uh, you can't just operate as a journalist without su some level of vetting, mm. right, mm. that mm. you mm. can now operate yeah. as a journalist. Yeah. So mm. I don't think licensing, uh, maybe it's because of his uh, high education that maybe he put <laughs> in very high language, you know. <laughs> it's simply to say, right, uh, like, for example, if you go to conferences, there's something called accreditation. You yes. have to produce something mm. called a press card. Yes. I'm from such, a, such, a, such and such an institution. Mm. I have an editor who has... Uh, authorize me to be here mm. i'm doing things that is that are legit yeah that's all that w w m must be done and i think that there is a a, a level of that already mm. in terms of accreditation and so on so that we don't just have everybody mushrooming and mm. pretending to be a journalist especially in the age of social media now you got what you call citizen journalists mm. so yes. actually not journalists just mm. people gossiping just like if people are just walking in the streets and gossiping mm. that's how what twitter is and facebook are, are about just that now that this is gossip has now become digital but that mm. gossip sticks jj Sometimes, yeah, so you need to be able to distinguish, yeah. right, uh, between gospel. So media can just grab a tweet and make it a headline yeah. without doing the necessary back background. But mm. if I am a Twitter and I'm followed by what 150 people, thousand people, I can I don't have to verify anything. I can just put out a tweet. Mm -hmm. Are you gonna believe it just because I'm followed by 150,000? No, people. right? Mm. That's not journalism. The distinction between gossip and journalism. Say like journalism, you go to school for it. You are trained how to do it. You are verified. Sure, you check sources. Sure. You do some work. Yeah, mm. and you stay before. impartial and objective. Absolutely. All yeah. right. Although well, objectivity and is dead, as you were saying. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and it comes back into the political sphere. I mean, I grew up reading the Sunday Times, Baba Bogumunto Fundi O Tengi Pepa, every Sunday we mm, sit. Mm. And the way he stopped buying certain newspapers was because he'd read something at Ailea in this sense. And he, it, it showed the dissatisfaction and the discredit mm. that has happened over the year. I mean, you talk yeah. about the Gu Mail and Guardian. There's so many newspapers. But I want to bring it back to, to, to the fact that do you really believe in the political sphere we are able to license journalism? journalism? No. You know, I, I think on this licensing thing, I think there's already enough, uh, you know, uh, press cards. Mm. Yeah. You have your degree, your journalism degree, which is, I think, is also enough that mm. you are a journalist. You get trained, you go to internships and all those things. So I think that is unnecessary. Mm. But on this issue, yeah, social media, as UJJ finished it, I think for my belief is that as mainstream media, 
we need to continue setting the agenda instead of letting social media set the agenda for us. Because it can be that umuntu zitutela nje umukosu wake was a strategy. Yafana jini umukosu witi ye na makeke mkukudunyo kutuita. But you can't then take that and make it the mainstream media. I think as mainstream media... But if it's media, true, so no, what do we no. do? I mean, you drop a bomb it. now. I'm saying you drop a bomb, man. Any bomb you have to say, you have to say, you have to say, video. And you find with, also with negative news where a, a, a robbery has happened. Let's talk about cash and transit. Mm. There's so many of those stories that come from Twitter and they've been true. Mm. And th that's why I'm getting me in King yeah. But that is when then you use the, uh, you, you know, your journalistic uh, ethics in mm. checking. You verify, you call that company. Was your bank robbed? Yes. Police, what is the police case? Did you open a police case? What okay. is the police case? And then it develops into a story. But now you develop the story even further for Twitter to feed back into Twitter and Facebook so that they, they, they talk about something that they know instead of just mm. taking it as it is mm. and then make it a story. And most of the time, these stories that emanate from Twitter, they end up being one-sided. You didn't even get the other side of the story mm. but you you expect people to believe the, mm. those kind of stories so that's my view so closing comments um i think uh look reporters whether they are journalists or they are commentators or whatever they're not the enemy of the people of course. they're actually there to serve the community to serve the audiences that you know uh, believe in their content and trust their content mm. and i think uh we're falling into that trap of the trumpian um, ethos of fake news and all of that yeah. and we cannot get there because the moment you start saying that we cannot be trusted the institu institution don't trust these people mm. that's when the freedom that we believe in and we love mm. is now getting dissipated in yeah. a way yeah sure and, and even in Kubuzinda, there was always training because, I mean, the AKA is in the yeah. has gone over two, three years, and mm. every day it's just a debate. And I want to say, my headlines, and I should be back on it, and I'm going to But for some interesting news, the word news actually stands for Notable Events, Weather, and Sport. Yes. But I'm going to say, I'm going to what no means no campaign. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, who have said it, but they've never acted on it. Yeah. Today's topic of course speaks to things like that because we've reported on how many people that have left how many people that have gone missing but do people understand that no means no mm, and no is not an option or a negotiating process it's no thank you very much and goodbye <laughs>